Hi, my name is Alicia and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Charles Owen JL9 protective vest and I've had, when did I buy this vest? In 2017, um, I bought it for my very first hunter pace that I did and I, I'm a fan. I can't say that I've used it a ton because I don't often do cross country schooling hunter paces or things of that nature, but I've used it enough to be able to give some feedback on it, show you how it fits on, and um, just my general thoughts. So starting off, this vest is a size small, um, the one that I bought. Now they do run large, so the small to me fits more like an adult medium would in some other brands like Tipperary. So just keep that in mind that the sizing does run um, a bit large. So the JL9 is made of foam and gel and I don't know if this is actually fitted for me. Yeah it is. I let a friend borrow it so it might be slightly snug right now. <laughs> um, so it has a zipper and velcro for the front. It's struggling. It should be fit snugly. So you'll see it's got the zipper closure and then a Velcro little tab to cover the zipper. And then it has little stretchy straps that buckle like a seatbelt would buckle. Um, it also, which is something I didn't even notice for the longest time, it has a phone pocket <laughs> in the front. Which side is it on? Oh, this side. You can slip a phone in here. I actually noticed when you look this up, there's never any pictures of where the phone pocket is or um, how to access it. And I'm actually filming on my phone right now, so I can't show you, but um, you can slip the phone into this pocket to be able to film while you're riding. And I actually added, this is kind of not really made for this. This is just like a sticker for a helmet that I put on here, um, just because I thought it looked cute. But anyway, this is how it fits. It has lumbar support in the back, and I tried to wear a long, like, white shirt so you can see how low it comes. It's, it does not interfere with the saddle, even though it kind of looks like it would based on where it's hitting, but once you sit down, I haven't noticed any issues with it um, hitting the saddle. So it does have lumbar support. Cut, obviously, high in the front, but still covers all of your ribs. And it has a lot of mesh in the back um, over kind of a ventilation. So while obviously you're going to be cooler riding without a vest on, um, for the protection you do get some ventilation. So you've got room under the armpit here. And then like I said, the whole back has round ventilation holes. And the sides are very adjustable as well as the top shoulders are adjustable and i'll take this off and show it a little closer um, in a different view as well but if you need to adjust it you can fully undo the sides which is actually nice for like a medical emergency which hopefully you wouldn't have but um, both sides you can undo tighten loosen if you need to and clip them back up again and then the shoulders have some adjustability here with a snap and elastic. So if you're a little taller, um, you know, let that out more, you can. Let's see if I snap that in, yeah. So this is the black. It comes in a black and a navy. And this is the adult size small. And I'm about a little under five foot four, 140-ish pounds, and like I said, um, I think that these run large because I have the Velcro sides done up like as tight as they can go. And, um, you know, typically I'd be more of an adult medium, women's medium and things, but in this I'm a small. I'm not super busty or anything. It fits me fine. If you're really chesty, you might run into issues, but there's still, you know, room <laughs> in here. I can put my hands in here and everything. And so I think, you know, you could get decently large in the chest area and still have some room. Um, maybe if you were like over a D cup or something, you might run into issues with fit and have the size up accordingly.
But the size chart is on the website, like Dover or Charles Owen, and I'll include that in a link below. So you just need to make sure you measure yourself um, for sizing. And kind of back to the fit. So I'm letting my arms hang down. The, this was kind of one of the um, sort of things to get used to for me is that you let your arms hang down. You, you do feel the, the vest, but it doesn't cause you to kind of have to ride like this. You know, you don't feel like, oh my gosh, I have this big thing on my side. So if your arms are really tucked into your sides on your horse, you are going to kind of feel that there's something there. But I didn't notice it like rubbing me or feeling like, oh my gosh, so awkward. Um, it's pretty firm. And when it's really cold, the kind of gel and foam will be um, pretty, pretty stiff. But as soon as it gets a little warm, it kind of melts to your body. And I have plenty of room. I wear a 1K helmet that kind of comes down lower. And I don't ever feel the back um, hitting into the back of my helmet. So... I have seen that with some people where they'll put a helmet on and the body protector will come up so high in the back that it'll actually interfere with their helmet. I haven't had an issue with this style. It's cut pretty low while still kind of covering the spine. Um, what else about the Charles Owen vest? Oh, you can completely take the cover off and wash it. So when I flip the camera view around, I will show that. These do run pretty expensive. I think they're like, you know, $2.99 to $3.50-ish um, to buy online brand new, but there is a used market for them. You'll notice people will kind of think that they're going to use a vest and buy one and then kind of it stays in their closet for a long time and they hardly ever use it. So there's a pretty good resale market online for um, used, I, I say vest, body protector interchangeably. Um, I do really like that the Charles Owen one is fully safety rated. There's more information um, in the description box below as far as safety rating, but I could go like cross country school or do any low level eventing or higher level eventing wearing this. Obviously, as you get up, if you're a very high level eventer, you'd have to wear an air vest over the body protector, but for me, that is <laughs> not an issue or, or a thing. So um, it offers rib protection, Spine, lumbar protection, and then collarbone protection up here because you up up in this spot you're gonna have um, padding as well. I mean, it doesn't come like right up into the, I guess part of your collarbone is still um, exposed right here, but for the most part you've got good rib, collarbone, chest uh, protection. So whether you're like schooling or um, showing or whatever, this is going to give you a lot of kind of feel good. <laughs> it does a lot for confidence for me, at least, you know, um, whether you're jumping or not jumping, but that you have kind of some protection of, of this special area <laughs> of your ribs and, and vital organs. Um, for fit, like my belly button's kind of right here. So I, I never had problems with, like I can bend all the way over, like you're tacking up. I can bend over. There's no issues with, you know, bending at the waist, at least for me. Um, maybe side to side if you're trying to do a bunch of yoga, a little bit of um, resistance, you know, like, but that could also just be my love handles. <laughs> but anyway, I really like it. Um, I highly recommend. They are a little kind of on the higher end of the budget scale. So um, if you're really on a budget, maybe look into the temporary brand. Um, the safety rating might be a little different, so just make sure you're aware of that. But um, yeah, I really like it, and I'll show a different um, view of it here before the end of the video. And if you guys have any questions, comments, or anything like that, leave them in the comments below, and give this video a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next clip uh, before we sign off. So here's the view of the Charles Owen JL9 body protector kind of off, just so you can kind of see it maybe in a little more detail. Like I said, this is just kind of an aftermarket like sticker that I put on. Doesn't really look that great. I needed to kind of have more of like an iron on thing. But anyway, that was just a leftover helmet uh, decal that I had. But the it's going to come with the Charles Owen logo and a little tag on the front. This is the black with the piping. This one's from 2017, so obviously it's it's used but i'm um, still in good condition the inside you've got a blue panel and you can actually see 
these holes, I'll hold it up to the light. I mean, that's the ventilation in the back. So it's got really good uh, ventilation. You can see through there. And you're gonna have the size tag up here. This is part of the adjustable shoulder straps that I was talking about where um, you can kind of lengthen them to a point. And then the adjustable side straps. And then you can see where you can take it apart. Ex take it apart as far as taking the cover off to wash it. So there's Velcro tab on the inside. Doing this one handed, there we go. And that will expose the actual foam on the inside, but you can take this off and um, give it a gentle hand wash or wash delicate in the dryer and then just kind of hang to dry inside. Um, as far as care for these type of vests, um, you're just gonna want to try to keep it indoors, away from the sun when it's not in use. And if you are hanging it, um, either turn it inside out or try to use a hanger with the really wide, kind of like a coat hanger that has the really wide spots where it's going to make contact here. And that'll help keep any foam from getting like dense or damaged to it. But the very best way is just to let it lie nice and flat indoors away from the elements as far as like long term storage and care. Because um, you do want to make sure that the foam and gel and everything in it stays in a nice um environments just kind of like caring for a helmet but anyway yeah i really like this vest a lot um it's comfortable obviously it's not as comfortable as going without a vest but safety first or if it's required when you're um schooling and whatnot um but yeah that's the charles owen jl9 and i hope you guys found this helpful um and again any questions just leave them in the comments and i'll see you in the next video bye